Hope you're doing great as promised. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it is that you can go ahead and add this pip counter right here, step by step. So first things first is you need to go ahead and download the pip counter. Now this website, I'll go ahead and link it down below. That way you can go ahead and simply go ahead and click on it and you go ahead and click on download. Once you go ahead and click on download, make sure the following, very, very important. Download must be on your desktop, okay? You, if you do have it on the download section, make sure you move it on onto your desktop. If not, it will not work. Now that, you, now that you have it on your desktop, the following thing that you need to do is you need to go over to your MT5. Once you're at your MT5, go to File, Open Data Folder. Once you click on Open Data Folder, you wanna go to the bottom where it says My Mac Desktop. You go ahead and click on My Mac Desktop and you're going to look for that indicator. In this case, you can see that comes out right here. Typically, it's gonna have a green um, star. So you go ahead and copy. Once you copy, you want to go back up, click on this arrow to go back, and then you wanna go over to where it says MQL5. Double click on MQL5, then go to indicators, double click on indicators, and then right here, you want to go ahead and paste. As soon as you go ahead and paste, it will go ahead and pop up right here as it does show. And once it pops up in that section, all you have to do is you can go ahead and exit from here. You can go over to your navigations indicator, click on indicators. So let's go ahead and just click on indicators. Once you go ahead and click on indicators, you will be able to see that pops up right here. In this case, it says show pip indicator. Now all you have to do is just simply grab, drag, and drop. And once you grab, drop, drag, and drop, it will go ahead and appear. And that is exactly how you can go ahead and add the pip counter on your MT5 step by step. If you like this video, let me know on the, on the comments down below. Let me know if there's something else that you'd like me to go ahead and help you out with because I would gladly go ahead and do that for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye-bye.